Hi, I am Maurice Peters and in this video I'm going to talk about another example in science where an experiment which was considered a failure turned out to be a big breakthrough. And in this case, this video goes about how Stephanie Korolek discovered Kevlar. And Kevlar is better known as that it's a material which is super strong and therefore often used in bulletproof vests. So what happens? Well, Korolek discovered Kevlar while she was working with a team of scientists to discover alternatives to replace steels that was used in radial tires in order to make cars lighter in anticipation of a future grass shortage. So what happened? She was trying to convert solid polymer into its liquid form. And what she found out is that it turned out to be thin and opaque, so very different than people would normally expect, like for instance, like nylons, what they were working with at the time. However, what she, the clever thing that she did, she created fibers from this solution. And this turned out to be how Kevlar, which was actually commercialized in 1971, was discovered. So a whole new industry came out of the creation of Kevlar. There's more than 200 uses for this type of material. So think about anything going from Mars spacesuits, so we talked about bulletproof vests, uh, spacecrafts, planes, boats, even in shoes. So in essence, the material that was covered by her saved countless and countless of lives. So let's talk a little bit about Stephanie Korlek herself, who made this amazing discovery. So she was born in 1923 and she grew up near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And there she gained a degree in chemistry from a college which is now part of Carnegie Mellon University. And what's actually very interesting in her case, she had a love for fabrics. So she learned this from her mother, who was very interested in sewing and was a homemaker. Um, but actually, she was also very interested in medicine, and actually she wanted to pursue medicine. However, medicine was very expensive at the time. So what she did after she graduated in 1946, and she applied for a position as a chemist at DuPont uh, Company, where she still had her eye on going back to medicine. And she, and she was very fond of her polymer research at DuPont. So we know now that these polymers are these really long molecules that are composed of repeating units. So that's why she abandoned her plans to go back to medical school and actually she became one of the most well-known chemists and she's been awarded many prizes. So she specialized in developing low temperature processes with finding synthetic fibers of incredible strength of rigidity. So to look for the next generation of fibers, she prepared what we call synthetic aromatic polyamides, high molecular weight. She dissolved them into solvents and she used these solutions to spin them into fibers. So she specialized into aramids, which are man-made fibers that have this incredible tensile strength. So when she did her laboratory work, she was working uh, together with research fellow Paul Morgan, and he calculated that aramids would form these stiff fibers due to the presence of what we call bulky benzene or aromatic rings in the molecular chains. And they had to be prepared from solution because they melt only at very high temperatures. So Corlex research was looking at different solvents and different polymerization conditions that were suitable for producing the compounds uh, that they were looking for. She then found materials that adopted highly regular rod-like molecular arrangements and solutions. So these are what we now know as liquid crystal polymers. And she discovered the first that were prepared. So she spun fibers from these. And these fibers happen to have unprecedented stiffness and tensile strength. Stephanie Korlek headed the polymer research lab at DuPont's pioneering lab until she retired. And rightly so, for all of her discoveries, she's received many awards, including the National Inventors Hall of Fame, the National Medal of Technology, and the Perkin Medal. So these are still very, now, even nowadays, these are still very rare medals to be won by women. So she's also acted as a real role model for women in science been a mentor for many, and she was also very uh, passionate about her outreach work and working with young children, getting them interested into science. But if you look at interviews about her work, you would see that the impact of the work was for her and the woman that gave her the greatest reward. So in an interview, she said, when I look back on my career, I'm inspired most by the fact that I was fortunate enough to do something that would be a benefit to mankind. It was an extremely satisfying discovery. And until date, her discovery continued to have a significant impact on people's lives and particularly save people's lives, which she was passionate about. This is a very short video on how Stephanie Korolek discovered Kevlar, but do have a look at our playlist if you're interested in other polymer scientists that made important discoveries. Thank you for watching.